What's up everybody? We know it's been a while since we have published a video, but Luna and I are back. We're back to making videos for this channel. So for the few months in between that we missed, we apologize, but we wanted to start getting some content back out to you guys. And today's video guys is specifically geared towards anybody who might be getting ready to adopt a Jack Russell because it is coming up on that time of year where you might be in a position to be adopting a new dog. And if a Jack Russell has been on your radar, we want to make sure that you're prepared. So today's video is all about the question questions that you should ask yourself before adopting a Jack Russell. Let's dive right into it. All right guys, so question number one that you should always ask yourself before you decide to adopt a Jack Russell is pretty simple, but depending on your lifestyle, it might make a big difference on what kind of care you're able to provide this dog. And that question is, can you keep up with them? Not physically necessarily, but I guess maybe physically as well. But can you keep up with the demands that they have? They are a needy following dog. They need to be around you all the time. They are full of energy when they're out and about. I mean, eventually they do calm down a little bit. She's getting there. She'll be three. Her next birthday, she'll be three years old. So Luna's getting there. But in general, this dog is higher demand when it comes to needs from you. So you just need to know if you can keep up, if you're going to be able to provide things like exercise, which we will touch on here a little bit further into the video. But that should be the first question you ask yourself. Can I keep up? Can you keep up with the demands? Can you keep up with the dog? Are you going to actually be able to take care of this dog? Number two that you should ask yourself before adopting a Jack Russell is you should take a pretty hard look at your current situation with children, how old they are, and none of that is to deter you from adopting a Jack Russell if you have younger children, but children take up a lot of time as well. So now you're going to have a, you know, a child that needs your time depending on their age, plus a dog that's high demand, plus this dog is rambunctious and full of energy. They jump, they climb on things, they've got really good leaping abilities. So having a really young child around an untrained Jack Russell, while it's certainly possible that's exactly what I did, my child will be six. So so he would have been three when we adopted Luna and it worked out fine, but you do need to be careful. You need to keep those things in mind. You know, they'll jump up, they'll do a little scratch to the face with their nails, things like that. So it's not only a safety concern, but it goes back to time and you know, the bandwidth you have to take care of the dog plus young children. The third question is assuming that you already made the decision that you are going to adopt this dog. So the question you need to ask yourself before you actually do the pickup for the dog or before the dog is in full exploratory mode around the house and in the backyard is, is the house and area and the yard proofed and ready to go. So if you've seen some of the older videos on this channel, I used to always talk about how Luna would use a hot tub to leap over to the neighbor's fence. So she would jump from the deck to the hot tub to the fence. We just realized probably a month ago that she doesn't even need the hot tub to do that. It's a 48 inch fence. So four feet, she can just clear it with a little bit of a running jump step. So that's an example of is the yard proofed and ready to go. You know, you got other alternatives such as just training them not to do it. Or a lot of people use things like shot collars, you know, beep collars, things like that, but no fence or a little fence or gaps in between the posts. This dog isn't very, you know, thick, so to speak. So she can fit between really space spindles, whether it's on the deck or if a fence had gap posts or they can just burrow under it. So that's only a few examples, but I mean, the point is that you just need to be prepared and have the areas where this dog is going to be proofed and ready to go. Make sure that they're safe. Make sure none of your belongings are going to get damaged and make sure they're not going to escape. The next question you should ask yourself guys is, can you even deal with the attitude? To this dog. So I'm not just talking about the following you around or, you know, the traits that make them kind of a needy and clingy dog. I'm talking about just their actual demeanor. For example, with Luna here, it took her a while to become, you know, besties with Graham, which is the bigger lab. These dogs are a little territorial. You know, they don't really take a liking to other dogs or even people getting a lot of the intention. That doesn't mean that they do horrible things when that happens. It's just they make it really clear that they run the show. So can you deal with a dog that has to be like that, that has to, you know, show some dominance? out of a relationship with other pets in the house or with other people. Luna here has taken a strong liking to myself. She doesn't have the same kind of respect towards the other two people in the household. She doesn't necessarily disrespect them. She just doesn't listen in the same manner. So ask yourself if you can deal with a dog that has a little bit of an attitude, right? Which leads me to my next question, guys. And it's, you know, it's a simple yes or no question, but do you have other pets in the house before you adopt this dog? Again, this is one of those things that is not meant to deter you from adopting a Jack Russell if you have other pets. I'll be the first to tell you that it works out just fine, but it does cause more work. A lot of these questions we're talking about are discussing the additional, you know, pressure it's going to put on you as the owner, the additional needs from you. So with Graham and Luna, for example, Graham, you know, we've made plenty of videos about, you know, making fun of him being the fatter dog, but he used to like to steal 
steal her food, which was an issue. It made it to where I had to come up with a new system for feeding them because Jack Russells don't like their food taken either. So I didn't want to build that relationship between the two dogs that she permanently disliked him because the food was always stolen. Stupid example, but a example that you should think about. Like if there's other dogs in the house, what kind of behaviors do they have? Are they passive? Are they going to butt heads with the Jack Russell? If it's a cat, is it going to work? Just answer the question honestly with yourself and that will help you gauge what you need to do to prepare and kind of give you an idea on whether or not it's a good idea in general. Next guys is probably the most important question out of all of them, but it's do you want to commit, right? Dogs are cute, it's easy to want. You have to do it right now. Dogs are cute. You know, you find a picture online or you find the one that you want to adopt and you see it's within driving distance. So you're like, yes, I have to go get it. And then you're not thinking of the 17 year, this dog has a long lifespan. So you're not thinking in advance on those 15 to 20 years of time that you're committing to this dog, you know, based on your work schedule or if you like to travel or things like that, can you commit to this dog? Do you have a method to taking care of them when you can't be at the house? Are you going to be able to deal with them finding clever ways of escaping for the first few years until they're fully disciplined? Can you deal with the potty training or their stubbornness? You know, especially the small dog, I've talked about this in other videos as well. It takes time, took me time specifically to fully train her compared to Graham. She was actually a little more stubborn with everything. Now she's way smarter. Once you get them trained, they're amazing dogs. But in the beginning, it's kind of a pain with this dog. So you need to ask yourself, honestly, if you're gonna commit, if you're gonna do what it takes to, you know, obviously give them a good home, but keep your home in good shape too. Cause this dog without letting out some energy, like exercise is part of the commitment to. If you can't commit to making sure they can get that either by running around a backyard or physically going with you to exercise, it's questionable if you should even be adopting the dog in the first place. So ask yourself those questions. You know, really make sure that this is what you want to do because this isn't just, you know, they're cute forever and then you don't have to do anything. It takes some work, especially in the beginning. It'll test your patience in the beginning and it can be tough. It's worth it. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying you need to ask yourself that question and make sure that it makes sense for you specifically. Outside of that, guys, just to recap again, none of this was meant to deter you from adopting a Jack Russell. I am an advocate for adopting a Jack Russell. I clearly have one. It's sitting in my lap right now. That wasn't the point of this video. This is more meant for anybody or all of the people who see this video that are getting ready to adopt. Just making sure that you're ready or that you ask yourself these questions or you sit down with, you know, significant other, spouse, whatever the case is, and make sure that you know what you're getting into and you've actually answered these questions honestly so you can make the right decision. Again, we apologize for the break in the videos. You can expect them to be back weekly. Point. We obviously appreciate the patience you had while we took that break. You know, there's been over 100 videos on this channel, so just took a little bit of a breather during the summer. It was the last summer before the kids started school full time at a big boy school, so we wanted to enjoy the summer. Took the break. Now we're back. If you haven't done it already, subscribe by hitting the button below. Turn on that notification bell so you're notified every week when the new videos come out. And never forget to hit up terrierowner.com where we discuss all of these things in more depth on the blog. As always guys, we appreciate you and we will catch you in the next video. Take care.